Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom on this evening where I am watching everything, which means I get to finish out season one of Ted Lasso. What a ride it has been. What a ride it has been this season. Where we have left off. Roy was benched. Rupert showed just how obsessed he is with Rebecca. Rebecca came clean to Ted. Ted forgave her in a very Ted-like fashion. And we're coming upon the last games of the season and the team may or may not be relegated. What I'm so glad is that the Rebecca trying to sabotage Ted storyline is not going into season two. Yay, we're gonna get more things. They're gonna work together as a team. They're gonna work together as a team, yes? Yes, don't tell me, but yes, yes. That is what I hope for. That's what I hope for. But the fact that this episode is called The Hope That Kills You. Okay. 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 I am here for it. And I'm so glad that you are all here with me as well. And that you've been with me for this journey. You're the part that makes this the best. Is watching all this with you. So we are going to get under the big cozy blanket. Because it's raining outside. And I have my water. I'm also trying to finish off a bottle of menage a trois because you don't let red wine go bad. You're also going to remember full episode watch long is available on Patreon where I would love to see you. Let me know where you're all are at. What you doing, what you're shaking, what you're looking forward to in the fall. I would love to know. So if you're ready, I'm ready and let's get to it. Who cleaned the shoes? Uh oh. Oh. They got. Oh, hi. Hello. I'm, uh, I'm Will. I'm the new clubhouse attendant. Where are you? Ted, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out myself. Has he been fired? I, I don't know anything about this, Ted. Oh, there you are. There you are. Sorry. Is this because I called Isaac a pussy? I will. Good yeah. morning, everyone. You shrew. You shrew? Why are you so hostile, Nathan? Right, I'll tell you why. You know my name. Well, I had to spell it correctly for your contract. He's getting promoted. You've been promoted. Oh, look at them. Oh, they're all in the office. Oh. <laughs> wow. Confetti cannon and everything. A whistle. Nathan Shelley, I present to you this whistle. But it is sad. Do you know why? No. Because it has never been blown. Is that the same reason why Colin's sad? <laughs> I knew that joke was coming. I now pronounce you Coach Nate. Yeah. I'm not sure if you know this, but uh, the rules say you got to pick a new captain. <gasps> You're my captain. That's the rule. The uh, captain has to be on the pitch. That's the rule. I say that the current captain has to pick the new captain. Ooh. Ooh. Who would he pick? I decline. I insist. Does Coach Beard have a suggestion? Until you choose your successor, your duties as captain of this squad remain unfulfilled. This is why it's hard to love you. <laughs> what? You heard it right. He loves you. <laughs> but preparation wise, we're going to treat it like it's any other game. I wish I could show more of my reaction on YouTube without getting copyright smacked because this, I giggle the whole time during the show. Coach, do they not have relegation in America? No, oh, no, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> You know, they play out the rest of the schedule, going through the motions and meaningless games, then everyone's pretty much fine with that. You know? That sound about right, Coach? Yeah, it's dumb. Mm-hmm. All right, now, Coach Nate. No. <laughs> um, I thought you'd all find this uh, motivational. Oh, hey. <laughs> I mean, gave me. I'd never say a bad word about me old club. But? Even though I did carry him through every match, but they're good lads. Apart from Roy Kent, he is a knob. Hmm. It's nice to have a real manager like Pep instead of that hmm. American rodeo clown. Hmm. It's the caramel. It's 
gonna get ya. <gasps> Whoa! Oops, in it. Well said. All right, let's. <laughs> Sometimes action speaks more than words. We uh, just wanted to say thanks. Yeah, we know you did your best. You act like we lost the game already, yeah? Why don't you have a little hope? <laughs> and you lived here long enough to realize it's the hope that kills you. I'll let you text Nate. We got a little work to do tonight, huh? That fish and chips look right tasty. Although I'm really craving a Cuban sandwich. No, I hate ties, Nate. All right? If God wanted games to end in a tie, she wouldn't have invented numbers. Fire up. Let's go. Hey, yeah, for the love of Meghan Markle, do not blow that whistle. <laughs> Come on. Tell me how we beat Manchester City. <laughs> It is hopeless. Where are the other coaches? Where are the other it's coaches? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh no, that is one word you do not say to Ted Lasso. When he's using the army men as is 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 guys. I ring a bell, Nate. You have that hanging in your home. We got a ton of these hanging up. This one's from the bathroom mirror. It's the first thing I see every morning, and it's the last thing I see at night when I rationalize being too tired to floss. Oh, Ted, since you're carrying around something today besides biscuits. Worry. Grief. Anxiety. Anxiousness. I hate to say it, Rebecca, but I think your football club might have been better off with a soccer coach. Yeah. So you think you're not a proper football manager? But who cares? There's a great saying in Dutch football. Well, I don't speak Dutch. Every disadvantage has its advantage. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> but doesn't that mean that you see the game in a different way than any other football manager? And shouldn't that empower you to cause complete and utter confusion? Cause confusion. Create chaos. Yeah? Yes, it is. Thanks, Paul. Woohoo! Wow, Rebecca. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> the chaos has already begun. <laughs> Ooh, Rebecca coming in. Coming and in. Today's in lesson clutch. is trick play. Trick plays. When I played for Tigres, we had a great set piece. Did it have a name? The Sandman. Yeah. Oh. Do they all know what the Sandman is? Yes, yeah, plural. Yeah, me too. Beckham's Todger. Beckham, I wow. know. Todger, I don't know. It's dirty. <laughs> okay. Midnight Poutine. Poutine. Mm. That's not dirty. It's just super Canadian. Yeah, uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh, with Dick Van Dyke, the owner of one of the most authentic English accents in the history of cinema. What do you got? <laughs> the broken tap. Think Man City will leak a lot of goals from it. Ooh. Loki's toboggan. Loki's toboggan. Loki's toboggan is delightful on so many levels. Not Loki's sled, Loki's toboggan. Not wax, homemade, oh, okay. homemade. What is with this <laughs> hairdo? I don't remember it being so Buster Brown before. Oh. Ask first. I can't believe you got done by Richmond. Well, I got fucked by Lasso. So. He likes you now, though. He talks about you on telly, doesn't he? Trent Grimm, the Independent. Trent Grimm, the Independent. Unless it's only talking. It's Roy right there. Fucking joking. <laughs> Roy is there. There's those socks. Wait, Jamie's coming out. Oh, is he? So I make scones? I don't like scones. I'm not making scones, you idiot. Those oh, scones are delightful. Um, what are those socks, Roy? Ted Lasso's trying to play fucking mind games with me. Saying nice shit about me on the telly, trying to get in my head. He does like you. Not as full of shit as he is. Oi, mind your fucking manners. Oi, and Roy's in his undies. Not everyone in your wow. life is out to get you. I am. <laughs> what? I thought you respected honesty. I do. <laughs> oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Enjoy the view from the bench. Oh. 
He has a Brian's barbecue as his wallpaper. <laughs> the game gets going. I can't tell my fellas what to do, so I just got to hope that everything I've been trying to teach them made some sort of impact on them and that they'll make the right decisions when they're out there on their own. You know, it's kind of like being a dad, I guess, huh? Hmm. How much did you give that before you checked out? I drew a robot. That's cool, bud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this sport. I've forgotten how stressful it is when you actually give a shit. Hmm. Look, she's decked out in colors. In a slingshot, Arlo. These are on me. Wow, me. No. Oh. Richmond. 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 Okay, here we are. Family. <gasps> the whole family. Kids, do you have Higgins? Jesus Christ! And this is our eldest, Lindsay. Good evening. Forgive me, Father. <laughs> He's a cool priest. When your parents have you out of wedlock, it allows you space to explore life's little grey areas. <laughs> I'm so delighted. To get the result they need, we'll have to start with veteran leadership. <laughs> Oh, he's handing off the origin to Isaac. Never stop breaking TVs. Ooh. So this could go two ways, obviously. They win, very Cinderella happy ever after. They lose, very Rocky one, going into a season two. So I've been hearing this phrase y'all got over here. That I ain't too crazy about. His cuff. Ted's looking very smart. Very smart. See, I believe in hope. Believe. I believe in belief. Now, where I'm from, we got a saying too. Not over till the fat lady sings. Do you believe in miracles? Do you believe in miracles? That's right, Hockey. Hockey. All right, Captain. Let them know. The way he just passes it off. Mission on 12. One. 12. Six. Seven. Nine. Ten. Eleven. <laughs> 12. <laughs> <laughs> Is that miracle scene from a movie or real life? Both. Yes. Yes. Hey, Jamie. Good luck. Fucking mind games. It's. He has a man open to his left, but he takes it himself, and so well he's there. Oh, so well. Oh, Winchester was clearly offside. Come on now, explain me how that's offside. What? No, I'm serious, how is that offside? I don't understand it yet. <laughs> what chess moves do they have in store? Chess moves! Chess moves. The ball. Exactly. Okay. When ketchup catches the ball. Yes, I understand. And your green army man and what? No. Go for the Sandman. Call what? Sandman. 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 Yes, for Sandman. It's a dummy. Oh, and another one. What is this? Dixon again. No. Oh. They were close. Sandman almost rocking the sleep right there. A bit of trickery from Ted Lasso. <laughs> And that's half time. The score is nil nil. But you can't score. I mean, uh, they can't tie. They can't tie. Okay, look, we are not playing for a tie. Ain't nobody here gonna kiss their sister. What? <laughs> Which is an American phrase that I'm now realizing does not exist here, and that's good because it's <laughs> creepy. And, <laughs> and here comes Roy Kent. <laughs> Roy Kent, who is, to be polite, very slow. That's because he's a fucking octogenarian, look at him. Says the octogenarian. Hendrick to take. He scores! Oh no, so far we're heading to Rocky. Jamie Todd with the breakaway. If he scores... Here comes Roy. Big dogs, big dogs, big dogs, big dogs. All right, go! Hold on. And they're both out. They're both out. He pulled a hamstring. He pulled a hamstring. He's hurt. He's hurt. Why are you okay? Fuck. Fuck. 
to my knee. What the fuck are you doing? Listen. Kent will never leave on a stretcher. As Kent comes off, he claps the fans in gratitude. Kent has been a fan favourite because he always left everything he had out on the pitch, and he did so tonight. Personally, I'm sorry to say, I think this may be the last time we ever see the great Roy Kent lace up his boots. Oh, good God, they're sounding as if he's dying. I told you you have to get out. I mean it, stay the fuck away from me. Oh no, it's the results from the other game, I bet. That's the sound of 26,000 people checking their mobiles. Oh my god, Palace won 6 0. But then that means. Oh, we need a tie. We need a tie, boys! No, 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 no. We have to win! We have to win! We have to win! Three minutes of any time is all that's left in. We need a win. But we. What was the last so special? Manchester City are more worried about yelling at Actually, what are they doing? Football! <laughs> He's so excited! It's American football. Yeah, it is. I've never seen anything like this. Obi Sanya goes in motion. <laughs> Where's the snap? Manchester City, you have to say it's working. Ozoro oh, is the quarterback, or is he the the, <laughs> the kicker? He's the kicker. Richmond players fan out. Mary to Obi Sanya, who is wide open. Sanya, bicycle kick it. On the left. Yeah, he is. Because football is life. For now. For now. For now, you still got time to play on the clock, fellas. Oh, City are back on the attack. There he is again. Utah loses Winchester with ease. Oh, he makes the extra pass. <gasps> he got the cutoff, man. And that's the game. When you Oh my gosh, we're throwing out Les Mis. No, 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 not Les Mis, Carousel. Carousel, it's Carousel. We could, we could, woulda, coulda, should all day long, but uh, that, that, that's, that's, it's a tough loss. It's a tough loss. Walk. Ah! You. Do you really think I'm gonna come all the way down to London to watch my son pass the ball? Oh, it's his dad. We may not have won, but Y'all definitely succeeded. Zero, where are you at? That dude had more saves than a Baptist preacher. <laughs> Give it up for Zero. Yeah. Zero, he said Zero. Roy chased down his grandson. <laughs> Stopped him from getting an easy one. Lift your heads up and look around this locker room. And I want you to be grateful that you're going through this sad moment with all these other folks. Because I promise you, there is something worse out there than being sad. And that is being alone and being sad. Ain't nobody in this room alone. What do you want? It's a note. It's a love letter. Don't be a prat. It's an army man. I'll leave you two to talk. Thank you, Leslie. Why was there a handshake? That was rather formal. Tea? No, T and I are still on a lifelong hiatus. Yeah. I'll 
take a little water, though, please. It's mighty unfair that you have to fire me, so if it's all the same to you, I'd like to spare you the trouble and just quit. Ted doesn't quit anything. You are not going anywhere because we have work to do. When you're all on the same page to and team. So the next year we get ourselves a promotion, which looks good on any resume. And then we come back to this league and we do something that no one believes we could ever do. Win the whole fucking thing. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Is that vodka? Oh, the bubble. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it was a tap water. <laughs> so we had our Rocky One ending. Did I want them to win and stay in the... Yes, because I love a happy ending. But it does make for juicier storytelling if we give them a major setback and have them lose. It sucks, but hopefully that makes next season even more. Arr! Which of the team guys come back? Questionable, because we know in real life, although this isn't real life, but however, players come and go at the beginning and end of each season. Does Jamie stay in Man City or does he go down to Richmond? His POS father. I guess that level of motivation of you're just crap. You're crap. It's all you. You. You are the player. You do everything. It got Jamie so far. But at what cost? Will we see more of Jamie's father going forward? Don't tell me. I'll find out. This is what I'm wandering into the world. How does Roy stay with the team? Does he come on to coach? Or does he heal and play somehow in some capacity? Or is that him? That's how he's going to go out. Because that's a sucky way to go out. And an injury. But what an injury. What an injury. That was spectacular. I don't know why I'm so surprised that Rebecca doesn't know any... <laughs> Of Higgins' kids' names. None. Because they had been around. He was working for Rupert forever. She wouldn't have picked up on one or two or knew that he had a big family. Mm -hmm. If this had been the only season and that's where we had ended it, I would have been so mad because they left so many good threads. There's time when you see shows and at the season finale, they leave threads that are like I don't care if they ever come back to them or weave them in or just why are they there to start with this one had good threads and I think it's because they had good callbacks we had the callback to the army green men and it wasn't just any green army men that Ted gave Jamie it was the one with the binoculars I see you <gasps> we have them relegated but then we also had the well we'll come back stronger and then stronger still to come win in two years that's a two year plan we had the throw, come back, the throwback, <laughs> and come back, the, how Ted can't drink sparkling water. I <laughs> mean, Nate's now coach, but we still have Rupert. I was so afraid when I saw the, the row of empty seats behind Rebecca, when we first see her in the stands with Keely, that it was going to be Rupert behind her. But the fact that it was Higgins' family was delightful. I don't want to see Rupert anymore. He brings nothing in my opinion. So going forward, next season, what do you bring next season? Because I think the fish out of water, there's this guy who doesn't know how to play football, co football, coaching football, soccer football. You know, he's in a new country, whatnot. Any of those jokes or situations I think would be overkill. Yeah, we've done that. Let's move on to something new. He's still reeling from his divorce. So you could bring back that back in. You have Rebecca claiming Rebecca, which would be good. Seeing more of that going forward. Roy moving on to a new section of his life going forward. So there are juicy things to have in the next season. What will they, they meaning story creators, settle on? I'm excited to find out. <gasps> But there we go. 
episode one where we just had to believe in ourselves to get through it. Okay, so thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. Do not be strangers. You'll want to come back and watch the next episodes. So make sure you hit subscribe so you know when the next video drops. And until then, please take care of yourselves. Stretch your bodies. Do your conditioning. Do your warm-ups so that if you do a slide tackle, you don't injure yourself. Be safe, be sane, and then uh, come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.